Say cheese. Do got a lot to teach you. Say cheese. Cheese, you ready? Well, we just got fueled up here in Lamar, Missouri. We are on our first turkey hunt of the season going up to Auburn, Nebraska, and uh, ready to get back on the road. The weather is not going to be cooperating with us this weekend. It's supposed to be like 60% chance of scattered rain tomorrow, like especially in the morning, scattered showers in the afternoon, winds like 10 to 20 miles an hour. Not ideal turkey conditions, um, but we're going to go up there and we're going to give it a good solid try I guess is what you want to say but uh, we're gonna get up there and have fun nonetheless and hopefully Sunday's looking a little bit better so if Sunday clears up then Sunday it is but we're gonna have fun it's the first time of the season we're ready to get out there in turkey woods I don't think they're talking much but if we can see some birds we're gonna see if we can put some mojo scoot and shoot action on them and if that doesn't work then we're just gonna fling some fling some arrows at them so here we go All right. I wasn't gonna give it to you because like uh, right away because I'd feel bad like you have to live up to expectations but now you've already they gave us a room to sleep here and or two rooms to sleep in a nice house and already been greeted by all the friends family so just in return you get a do you have a trail camera at all I have trail cameras yes well now you're gonna be get you got a spy point force tent so nice. now you get a nice trail camera so just throw all those wrists away and just <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, thank you yeah. We're out here. We're at the top of the world in Nebraska, pretty much here. As you can see, we've had a rough morning. Uh, luckily, the wind and the rain, well, the wind never stopped. The rain stopped this morning. We were able to hear a bunch of toms gobbling. They just never committed. They cast it down. The hens flew off the roost late. And uh, we've kind of been playing cat and mouse, but we can't catch up with them. So we're up here on top. We snuck up here. If we can hear something, we're going to hear something from here. But got other properties we're gonna keep working it's probably the roughest weekend that we might have here in nebraska wind and rain at least tomorrow it's gonna clear up it's still gonna be cloudy and it was like in the 30s this morning with the wind chill so turkey hunt as finest got the mojo decoy going got spy point on front out here with the archery equipment So we had a cool hunt, Brian and I. What did you see? Well, there was not much down the corner. Nothing down the corner. I have no sign, no turkey sign or anything. Um, but I heard a few gobbles and they were up your way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we had uh, probably somewhere close to 30 roosts within oh, 60 yards of yeah. us. So like, like Tom, we, Jake. Uh, we had, we had a bunch everything. of hens <laughs> and there's a, we got a cool video footage of a tom up in a tree that had a long beard and there's one that was down on the ground strutting. So there's probably, I would say, at least three. So we're hoping that we can get them over on our side in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. Yeah, bunch of turkeys. So we're excited about tomorrow. No wind, no rain. It's just gonna be cloudy and like 50 something degrees. It's gonna be much better. I think it might just gobble our heads off in the morning. So that would be cool. So till the morning, get ready for it because might actually fling an arrow. Now if I hit or not, that's a whole other story, but I hope I do. We'll see what happens.
This morning had really close encounters. The thing is, is that they're hinned up, and that's tough. We uh, right over here on this tree line that you can see had a lone tom for some reason over there by himself. We had almost 30 turkeys roosted down here. Set up um, the hens out in front of us with a tom strutter decoy, the mojo, scoot and shoot with the real fan. And he came up for that, that hill. I think he was expecting to have hens by himself, and he saw the decoy. And so he was maybe 60, 70 yards, somewhere around in there, just skirted down along through here. And he went to meet the hens that were piled up down here. There was gobblers down there, but they all casted down and they've been staying down in there. We actually had some more that um, came down and across. And those ones that were down here actually came up really, really close this morning and got really, really close. But we got a fence line. and we can't hunt the other side. So made it super tough, awesome morning, tons of vocalization, and uh, it's probably the most vocalization you've ever heard, huh, Brian? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we had fun. Yeah, <laughs> really, really fun morning. We're gonna get the Mojo Scoot and Shoots here and see if we can't find one. It's gonna be tough to get up close and personal with one on the bow. We'll see what we can do before we get out of here today. All right, so here we go. We are wrapping up our Nebraska turkey hunt. We're gonna leave out a little bit early. It's still cold out here. It has been a mud fest out here in Nebraska this season. You can tell here, look at my truck. Uh, we weren't even able to drive in most of the roads just because it was so incredibly muddy out here. Everything that we have is muddified. Well, our cameras, our bows, um, everything is wet and everything is muddy so we're gonna get out here a little earlier than we wanted to just because we've got a five to six hour drive home we've got work in the morning but we gave it a good old try and it was just not the best early season conditions here in Nebraska we had temperatures down in the 30s tons of wind and rain all day yesterday had some really cool encounters this morning they're just hinned up they don't want to get away and for what we're doing trying to get uh, behind the mojo scoot and shoot with the bow and being wide open and shoot a turkey, it's just not gonna work out today. So we are coming back up. Colby and I will be coming up this weekend and giving it another try. And hopefully the weather conditions are a little bit better and they're breaking up a little bit more. And uh, then we've got Kansas after that. So we're gonna keep on trying. If you guys are tuned in to only killing on our channel, then you're probably tuned into the wrong channel. But I appreciate all you guys for subscribing and just like commenting every single week and thumbs upping and supporting us for all that we do here on the hunting grounds. And just excited to be out here in God's creation and just enjoying the art of hunting. So guys, until next time, have a better and average day. Won't you tickle